So what is the difference between a JSON Web Signature and a JSON Web Encryption Token? So most of the time people only talk about the JSON Web Signature Token, but the JSON Web Encryption Token is also pretty interesting. So think about JSON Web Token, like JVT, as an abstract base class, and then you have two concrete types. So if people say, well, we use JSON Web Tokens, then they mean that they either use a JSON Web Signature Token or that they use a JSON Web Encryption Token. And the thing is that both types of token provide different guarantees. So it's not like one token is better than the other. Uh, in fact, they work pretty well together. So with JSON Web Signature Tokens, what it guarantees is it guarantees data integrity, right? So you have your uh, header and your claim set and this thing gets signed or mapped and that provides data integrity. It also provides authenticity because only he who has like the private key can create like a signature or only if you have a secret you can Mac, right? So you can be pretty sure that this whole token comes like from a trusted party, so to say. And in case of, um, in case you use an asymmetric algorithm, so for example, uh, RSA or RS-256 in that case, or ES-256, then you also have the property of non-repudiation. We talked about that in a previous video. So you cannot deny that you created a token. So these are JSON Web Signature tokens, right? Or the guarantees they provide. The most important thing to understand is that with JSON Web Signature tokens, the content is visible to everyone. So the parts here are only Base64 URL encoded. Everyone can decode things. Right, so sometimes you see people saying, oh yeah, I decrypt a JSON Web Signature Token. No, it's like not, not possible. Like you cannot decrypt a JSON Web Signature Token. Like unless you have like a nested token, unless you would put like a token in here, but no one is really doing that. You always do it the other way around if, if you have nested tokens, right? So with JSON Web Signature Tokens, you can only decode them. Like you can use the command line to decode it or just like some library. And with JSON Web Encryption, like the, these types of tokens are a little bit more sophisticated. And the purpose here is to actually prevent like the bad guys from seeing things, right? So a cipher text is something that has been encrypted, right? So if you see like this token, you do not know what is actually in the token. Here in the token, here with JSON Web Signature tokens, you can see what is in the token, but you cannot change it. And here, uh, the content is just encrypted. So you just don't know what's in there in the first place. And the thing is that, yeah, these tokens are like a little bit more complex, right? So they use some form of hybrid uh, approach. So content encryption keys. So they combine symmetric and asymmetric algorithms uh, to kind of produce this uh, ciphertext. So only the person who has the private key read what is in the ciphertext. And that is like the, the main difference between these two. Um, but they are also, or both of them are always used with the compact serialization format. So a JSON Web Signature Token always looks like this. Unless you have an unsecured JSON Web Signature Token, then you don't have the last part. With JSON Web Encryption Tokens, you have more parts, right? You have five parts here. Uh, so that would mean four dots. Uh, so yeah, so two things are here. Uh, you would have like two more parts. And they work pretty well together for in the high level security environments. What you typically do is you first create like a JSON Web Signature token, and then you take this token and nest it inside of a JSON Web Encryption token. So then you have all the guarantees here, data integrity, authenticity, non-repudiation, if you use an asymmetric algorithm, and no one can even read it. The two actually work pretty well together. And most of the time, this is the last thing I want to mention, when people talk about JSON Web Tokens, they most of the time mean JSON Web Signature Tokens. So they are a little bit sloppy. If you're really strict, you could say, well, about what type of token you're talking about, but oftentimes it's kind of like apparent from the context, right? But most of the time people actually mean this JSON Web Signature Tokens. Yeah, so that's it pretty much. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also send me a tweet. My Twitter handle is at production coder. So again, thank you so much and see you around. Bye-bye.